319 the time. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of it? Don't you want it fixed? Or you just want to wallow in what this government has become? Getting played not unlike those uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of teenagers last Saturday march for our lives. That's exactly what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing. With gun control, with illegal immigration, good Lord, the lead is still Stormy Daniels, a porn star that Trump may or may not have sex with. I don't care. Don't, don't you get what's at stake here? It's not just what future we have left and the time we have left, but our kids and their kids. Uh, George in Dallas. George, thank you for waiting. How you doing, George? Okay. Uh, listen, I, I, um, I appreciate your comments about the 535 people, but it's actually less than that. It's 60% it's of that number. So you're, you're basically talking about maybe 260 people determine national policy when you look at 60% of each, each chamber. I, I want to know um, where every U.S. representative stands on the issues. Well, yeah. You know, Rick, I think you got, you got more chance of getting a straight answer out of a guy with a hand puppet you know, one one a donkey and one an elephant. Well, that, that may be true. That may be true, and as long yeah. as I have that attitude, you're right. But if I continue yeah. to well, demand what I should have, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. All right. Rick, listen, my, my real comment here, and it's basically attached to what, what you're talking about. You know, in my opinion, that the, the arguments about the wall, about more manpower to do border enforcement— that's all lobbyist driven. I mean, it's a lobbyist uh, daydream to to be able to think about spending billions and billions of dollars on on construction, billions and billions of dollars on manpower, bigger courts, uh, more jails, etc. And that the real essence of border control is e-verify, and it's because you know in Texas everyone is concentrating on the Hispanic movement of people. It's not just Hispanics. It's Asians from, from Asia. It's Indians from India. It's people from Eastern Europe. It's people, for God's sake, from Ireland who come here illegally. And they're taking jobs. They're taking good jobs. They're in every part of, the, of, of government. They're in every part of the private, private industry. They're taking real jobs that should be going to American, American citizens. And without E-Verify, you will never stop it. The wall will not do it. They will find a way over it, around it, through it. They will find a way. People now are marching through the desert. Half of them are dying. They don't care. They're going to do it. The wall will not solve the problem. E-Verify will. But it won't be passed because corporate lobbyists are ruling over the career politicians. Keep this in mind. When lobbyists contribute to a career politician, the money that goes into his campaign chest eventually becomes his. Even if he loses the election, he walks away with millions of dollars in contributions. No, no, That's you, legal. No, no, it's not. No, I mean, t- take a look. No, it's not. Uh, I'll, I'll look up the, the code for you. He has to pay off all his campaign bills first, um, and then uh, the residue of that he does not get to put in his pocket. Uh, it's it's part of part of the campaign law. I'll, I'll read it to you. And as far as the border wall is concerned, I mean, you and I both know if there's a wall, there's a way. E-Verify is just another notch on getting something done. You know, we have such short memories, such short memories. It wasn't that long ago when this guy, he got it right. Not too long ago, two friends of mine were talking to a Cuban refugee, a businessman who had escaped from Castro. And in the midst of his story, one of my friends turned to the other and said, we don't know how lucky we are. And the Cuban stopped and said, how lucky you are. I had some place to escape to. And in that sentence, he told us the entire story. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. It is. Are you going to make that stand? He's exactly right. There's no place else to go. And slowly but surely, because of our silence, because of our attitudes, uh, because, well, no one vote doesn't matter. Well, we can't do anything about the, the federal government. And because of that, we're going to lose it all. We're going to lose it all. I got to step aside very quickly. I'll look up uh, that uh, that campaign residue uh, code, and I'll have that for you when we come back. 324 the time. I'm Rick Roberts, News Talk 820 WBAP.